Simon from SimonWoods.com. The wine today, oh golly, I can't pick it up. Sette Muri. Um, Sette Muri, it is, I mean, seven walls or something like that. Oh, it is seven walls. Um, blah, 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 refers to the uh, unique walled paths that line the vineyards of Brindisi, where this wine is from. Blah, blah, blah. So Brindisi Rossa Reserva, um, 2017, that's uh, so 2014. Uh, made from 100% Negro Amaro. I'll just give myself a little helping hand to pour it out and give it a sniff. One of the first things I notice is um, uh, an uh, oak imprint, and it's it's a strange oak imprint. Uh, that I get this this character in in, in a few wines, um, and I would describe it as the bottom of green flash pumps. That is very precise. I don't know if you remember Dunlop green flash pumps. But there was something, you got a new pair of them, and uh, you, you always go around sniffing the soles of shoes, don't you? Is that just me? Um, but there's something slightly rubbery about the, the oak imprint. The other thing I notice is that there's this warm tobacco and spice, um, soft, plummy fruit behind it. Uh, and yes, it's got it's that fruit that's not, not absolutely fresh. It's got, it's, maybe it's gone a little bit squidgy, or it's perhaps it's had a little bit of cooking just to soften it. Um, it's not gone into uh, overripe or overbaked or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's, um, it, it, the fruit smells nice. Is that oak too much? Let's have a uh, taste and find out. Well, it's certainly a wild wine. You get that um, dark cherry, berries, plums, brambles, and uh, this undergrowth feel. Uh, the oak character is there, and it's giving, uh, as well as a slight smoky note, it's giving this um, almost like a green, slightly resinous edge. Now, it's come out of a, a coolish cellar, and it's probably a little bit too cold to uh, uh, at, at this temperature. I'd like to see it warm up a bit. So I'm going to keep my eye on it and, and watch and see what happens to it over the course of a few hours, and as it warms up. It feels like the, the wine there is probably just about in balance with the oak, providing you don't get it brand new out of the bottle at a coolish temperature. But um, I'll be interested to see. Uh, as it is, um, it feels like th there's a lovely, gentle, herby spice and warm southern confidence about the wine. No one's tried to make a really massive wine. I mean, the, the, the Negro Amaro, the name of the grape, means black and bitter, but there's nothing, uh, it's not, they, they haven't gone over the top to make a really dark wine. They've extracted it nicely. My concern is whether that oak imprint is just a little bit too much, but um, I'll report back because uh, I think there is um, decent work in progress here. See you soon.